everybody! Welcome back to my kitchen for another episode of Teen Tuesday. This week we're going to be making raw cookie dough. Now it's important to know that in chocolate chip cookie recipes there are two common ingredients that you do not want to eat raw. The first, and most obvious, is eggs. Eggs can have salmonella, so it's a very bad idea to eat them raw. This recipe does not have eggs in it, so no problem. The other ingredient that you don't want to eat raw is actually flour. There are some bacteria that live in raw flour that can make you sick if you eat it. So to eliminate that problem, I'm going to have you cook your flour before you make the cookie dough. To do that, you're going to take the flour and you're going to spread it out on a baking sheet and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. That's again in the oven for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Then you're going to let the flour cool before you follow along with the rest of the recipe. So go cook your flour and then come back. All right, so now that the flour has been cooked, let's get started on making our cookie dough. First, we're going to mix the dry ingredients together. So here I have my flour, one cup and two tablespoons flour, and it's been cooked. And to that, I'm going to add one half teaspoon of baking soda and one quarter teaspoon of salt. And then stir that together so that it's evenly mixed. Now set that aside and pull out the larger bowl. Here we're going to mix together the wet ingredients, but we're going to start by creaming the butter. So take your butter. This is eight tablespoons or one half cup. So one whole stick of butter and you want it softened. Um, you can either do that by leaving it out on the counter for about an hour before you cook or stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Don't melt it, just soften it. And I'm going to use my hand mixer to cream the butter so that I'm making it light and soft and fluffy. This is the same thing that you would do with a regular cookie dough recipe. All right, now I've creamed the butter. I'm going to add the sugar and the vanilla. We have six tablespoons of regular granulated sugar and six tablespoons of brown sugar. And then the vanilla is one half teaspoon. Now I'm gonna use the mixer again to mix this up. If you're mixing it by hand, it'll just take a little bit longer, that's all. Okay, now I'm gonna scrape it down and then do it again because my brown sugar just does not want to mix in at all. It wants to stay in the little lumps. Okay, much better. Now, we're going to add the dry ingredients to the liquid ingredients a little bit at a time. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of the dry ingredients and then I'm gonna mix it up. So all the dry ingredients are added in there, and as you can see, it's kind of a dry, sandy looking dough. The reason for that is because we haven't added enough liquid yet. Um, for a regular cookie recipe, there would be an egg in here, and that would be adding the last bit of liquid that we would need to hold it all together. Since we're doing edible cookie dough and we don't want to add an egg, here we're gonna start adding a little bit of water. 
We're going to add water one tablespoon at a time because we don't want to add too much and end up with a weird soupy mess. So here we go. One tablespoon of water. And mix. Better, but not there yet. Let's do one more tablespoon. So again, a little better, but still could be better. One more tablespoon. So that's three tablespoons so far. That looks like a lot. That looks a lot more like cookie dough. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. That's a really good consistency. I think we've had enough water. So now the last ingredient, one cup of chocolate chips and stir. All right. So now you've made yourself a wonderful edible chocolate chip cookie dough. It's very good, just like this. But if you get tired of eating it raw, you can always turn it into cookies. Just bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes and you've got cookies. Yum.